Hello, I'm Mohini, an engineer at Undo, and today I'll show you something I bet you did not know you could do in Visual Studio Code. Time travel debugging using Undo's UDP. UDB is a time travel debugger for Linux C++ development. It is used to debug a live process and replay the process's execution history and understand what the process just did. Debugging is about investigating what happened in the past. Traditional forward debuggers require repeatedly restarting the application by setting breakpoints at different locations hoping to catch the problem. Working this way is inefficient as it requires a lot of guesswork. What if we could just travel back in time in the program's execution, see what happened in just one debug iteration? With UDB, we can do just that. It accelerates finding problems such as race conditions, stack overflows, memory corruptions, segmentation faults, and more. It is also a powerful way to navigate and understand complex and unfamiliar code bases. Let's dive in to see how it works. I have launched my program with UDB. This program calculates the integer square root of a number and also maintains a cache of the results. As we can see, the program has called an abort. This is because it got an incorrect square root 0 for the input number 255. Let's investigate this. From the call stack, we can see we are in some libc functions. In the debugger control panel at the top, apart from the usual forward navigation controls, UDB also provides the reverse navigation controls on the left. We can use reverse step out to execute backwards and come out of the libc functions to return to our code in main. Next, we can use reverse step over to go to the previous source line. We need to investigate the function cache calculate, so we will reverse step into it to execute backwards and enter the function from the end. Moving a step backwards shows that the square root was returned from the cache index 90. What if we could jump to the time in program's execution history where this value was last changed to see how we ended up storing a wrong square root? UDB provides a command called last for this. We can also interact with the debugger through the terminal. I will provide the last command with the expression in the terminal and as we press enter, it will take us to the time in the execution history when this expression was last changed. As we see here, the number is actually minus 1 and we got a square root minus nan for it. Since our cache stores only positive integers, it converts minus 1 to 255 and minus nan to 0 while storing and we see the wrong values. We probably need a range check on number to allow only positive values to fix this problem. That was a quick debugging. We have some important observation here and UDB offers bookmarking such important times in the execution history to be able to jump back to them from any other time in the debugging session. I will use the set bookmark button to set a bookmark called invalid number at this location. The timeline section on the bottom left shows the current position in the program's execution history and the position of the bookmarks that we have placed. It can be used to navigate to the start or end of the program's execution history or to any of the bookmarks that were set by simply clicking on them. I can jump to the end of the execution history and go back to the bookmark time with just a click. We can also jump to the start or end of the execution history by using the go to start or the go to end buttons and also jump to a bookmark using the go to bookmark button. Let's see what you need to get started with time travel debugging in Visual Studio Code. You need Visual Studio Code version 1.58 or later, Time Travel Debug Extension version 1.12 or later, Undo UDB version 6.5 or later, a program to be debugged running on supported Linux distributions. With everything set, let us install the extension in Visual Studio Code. Bring up the extensions view by clicking on the extensions icon on the activity bar on the side and search for UDB. Finish installing the time travel debug for C++ extension. The first thing you need to do is add a configuration for your project workspace. Under the run menu, select add configuration. This will open the launch.json file with the default set of configurations. You can add more to it by clicking on the add configuration button at the bottom right. This extension provides three kinds of configurations. UDB attach to attach to a running process and start debugging it, 
UDB launch to start a program that needs to be debugged. UDB replay a live recorder recording to replay a recording created using undo's live recorder. We will add a UDB launch configuration for our program. In these configurations, under program, specify the path of the executable. Under args, provide the command line arguments that need to be passed to the executable. Under environment, provide the environment settings for the executable. Setup commands can be used to configure GDB. MIDebugger path is used to specify the path to UDB if it is not available under the path environment variable, else just leave as is. Once the extension is set up, we can launch the program by clicking on Start Debugging under the Run menu or by clicking on the green button next to the selected UDB configuration. We are at the start of main and as we hit continue, we will be where we were earlier and we can continue debugging as we did. Thank you for watching the video and good luck with your own time travel debugging.